Welcome to Chemistry Lesson 1. Today we're looking at formula literacy and you're going to make a revision resource that you're going to use over the next month to learn the symbols of 10 elements and 6 compounds. These are things that you're going to come across quite a lot um, in your study of chemistry and if we know these symbols it's going to make uh, your understanding a lot quicker and a lot easier. Uh, attached to this lesson is this sheet uh, where we've got the common formula of 10 elements here lithium, sodium, potassium, iron, magnesium, copper, zinc, oxygen, carbon and hydrogen and then six compounds hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, ammonia, water and carbon dioxide and we've got their symbols listed uh, next to the elements here and the formulae next to the compounds. I've circled uh, two, uh, oxygen and hydrogen here, uh, because they've got a little two after them. We'll talk in future lessons about why that, exactly why that is, but it's important for us to know that oxygen um, exists as two oxygen atoms bonded together, that's why it's O2, and hydrogen as two hydrogen atoms bonded together. That's why it's H2. So before we talk about how you're going to make your revision resource, um, I uh, just want to check that we understand how to write uh, symbols for elements properly. So I'm going to use sodium as an example, first of all. Sodium has the symbol Na. It's a two letter symbol. If an element has a two letter symbol, it's a capital letter, so a big N, followed by a small lowercase letter, NA. If you were to write NA, both lowercase, that wouldn't be correct. And if we were to write both capital letters, both big letters, that wouldn't be correct for sodium. It has to be a capital letter and a small letter. Um, if an element has a single symbol so uh, one of the ones on the list is potassium then it's just a capital K a little K here wouldn't be correct uh, when it comes to writing formulae um, if we have a look first of all at carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is a molecule that's made of one carbon atom so it's a capital C and two oxygen atoms so it's a capital O a big O with um, a small two after it. Notice that that two is written so that it's halfway uh, between uh, the line above and the line below and it's a small two. So we should try and avoid writing things like that. That wouldn't be correct. Um, that wouldn't be correct. Um, and also that wouldn't really be correct. So we're after capital letter, capital letter, and that's a small two in between the line there like that. So let's think about how you're going to learn this. I'm going to talk about two methods. First method is the look, cover, write, check, repeat. And a little bit earlier before I, uh, before this lesson, um, I uh, drew this uh, on a piece of paper. So what I've done here is put 16 rows on this piece of paper here and written in the names of all of the symbols and uh, compounds uh, sorry formulae that we need to know and then I've drawn I think eight columns here so this this is, is eight revision sessions worth so the only thing you're going to have to do today if this is your if this is your lesson is to um, make a table like this and then write these in here and then copy in the symbols Okay, so they've all been written in there. And that's realistically all we need to do for today. Then when it comes to our first revision session, you're gonna to have to get yourself a small piece of paper here. So I'm just tearing off a uh, small strip of paper, off a piece of paper right now. So when it comes to your next revision session, we're going to need to cover these up. I haven't quite got enough space here, but hopefully you get the idea. 
and then you're going to write down as many as you can remember so this could be a revision session maybe in two or three days time and we write in let's say I can remember these ones uh, I can remember those so I'm just picking some and may maybe those are the ones you can remember and then once you've done that you need to uncover the list check if they're right in this case they are and the ones that we're not sure write them in and then we cover those over again in our next revision session and we repeat the process going back even if we know them it's important that we try and complete the whole list over and over again so this is the look cover write check repeat method we look at the list of the things we need to know we can cover that with our hand we write them down that's one option the other option is to make some flashcards and what I did here was just fold a piece of paper into eight uh, and then cut along the uh, folds that I'd made so um, obviously there's 16 here so you need to do that twice so what I'm doing now is writing lithium on one side of the piece of paper and on the other I'm going to write its symbol li and then I won't do it for all of them but I'll just do the first two as an example and that's all you'd have to do for today's revision session. Then, in your next revision session, it should only really take you five minutes each time you do this, um, you need to uh, pick up the cards. And, and the great thing about this way is you can actually do it either way around. So you can look at this and you think, sodium, do I know the symbol for sodium? Uh, I think it's NA, capital N, little a. Look over, check. Yes, I got that right. Good. LI. Do I know the symbol for LI? Um, I can't quite remember the symbol for LI, but I'll have a check anyway. Uh, oh, it's LI. So, um, and then the next time we'd repeat this process as well. So there's two options for you today. Either prep up a sheet like this, ready to do the look, cover, write, check, repeat, or make 16 flashcards with the name on one side and the symbol or formula on the other side. Thank you very much.